Hi everyone, welcome back to this week of RHO Market Chat. So this is what we're going to do this week. We're going to recap last week's market chat as usual. And uh, the team for this week, another US Euro stimulus package coming up. Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, these leading tech stocks and market leaders are reporting earnings this week. And that could be, or that could prove to be a game changer and go a benefit if the new stimulus packages are passed. And we're going to talk about the week ahead economic data finally. So this is the recap for last week. I talked about Fusan Pharmaceutical, 2196 dot Hong Kong. And Fusan has obtained exclusive license from BioNTech to develop and commercialize vaccine in Greater China. And BioNTech last week reported that they have been given the go ahead by US FDA to move this development into the next stage. And so after we spoke, uh, Fusan Pharmaceutical went from $30 to $35. And last week, we talked about COVID-19 death rate or uh, the importance to keep a watch out on COVID-19 death rate. Uh, although we saw a resurgence of uh, new cases and in many states in U.S., the COVID-19 cases uh, have hit record high, but yet, uh, we are not seeing increase in death rate and that is something that we should be looking out for because that would be a signal for many states to close their economy again. So I shared about uh, a snapback that I expect right, on NASDAQ. You know, NASDAQ have been uh, you know, taking new highs after highs, record highs. And I shared that uh, from my chart, NASDAQ could be ready for a snapback. And after I spoke NASDAQ, after hitting a high of 10,754, it retraced to 10,371 before closing the week at 10,645. So I talk about Tesla chart, sign of Tesla peaking. All right, so last week when I spoke, it was at uh, 1519. It retraced to 1431 before closing uh, back up at 1500 again. So watch Tesla. All right, it could be uh, it's showing a peaking process. All right, because of the grid bar that you saw, super high volume bar that you know happened just last week, uh, which is showing that a lot of people are now letting their, down their guts and going in into Tesla or yeah, and, uh, and that could be some concern. So this week's theme, another US, expect another US and uh, Euro stimulus coming up. Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla reporting results and go benefiting from new stimulus package if it is passed. So this is the chart of record daily cases in, in COVID infection. And it seems that uh, what I spoke about last week about looking at the death rates and death rates is slowly creeping up, all right? So attention remains front and center on the rising cases in America and whether death uh, will start to catch up, all right? So in the short term, the only thing that matters, all right, to me uh, now is the pickup in uh, death rate and uh, you know, at this level, it's still not causing alarm yet, but clearly the data must be closely watched. So the seven-day average, right, daily average of death rate in America has risen by 43% from a low of 510 on 4th of July to 730, but that still remains 67% below the peak at uh, 2238. 
all right, that was reached in April. So while the seven-day average daily rates of cases has now more than tripled from 20,362 on 9th of June to 63,307 as of last Friday, all right, so it's important to emphasize again that the average age, all right, of cases in U.S. has plunged, although the cases have increased, but the average age has plunged, all right, so this could be seen as a good news or a bad news because, um, you know, uh, although the young people are being infected, they are, uh, the fatality rate remains low among the young people. But still, uh, in state of Florida, all right, uh, cases have been surging, all right, and there is clearly the potential of scary headlines if COVID spread into many uh, retirement communities. So if the COVID situation goes uncontrolled, com consumer confidence will take a hit, all right, and uh, the consumer sentiments has, has been falling from uh, 78 in July to 32. So increased COVID, COVID infection during summer and early fall will only increase uncertainty about the job futures, income prospect, and also we will start to limit discretionary uh, spending. So with the 31st of July extra unemployment benefit expiry date looming and the United States uh, Congress is beginning this week to talk about the additional stimulus. If that don't happen this week, all right, the outlook could be grim for the U.S. stock market this week. All right, so the CARES Act, the last uh, stimulus, fiscal stimulus, has been keeping the economy and the stock market humming and if it stops all right this week or even if there's going to be a temporary interval it's, it's not going to be good for the market all right so there's going to be a little time for negotiation all right even if it starts this week all right because the senate is um, supposed to return today and uh, they're supposed to work until 7 august while the House of Representatives has its uh, final schedule working day on 31st of July. All right, this means that Democrats and Republicans have the next 10 to 15 days to debate and come up with a resolution on the bill, which is so crucial to the economy and the stock market. All right, so failure to come to a resolution on the bill will delay the stimulus bill from being approved as neither chamber is set to return until September the 8th. So I suspect that whatever it is, all right, by the end of this week, they are going to push through with a new stimulus, which means that there could be some roller coaster going on this week as the stimulus is being discussed. Uh, and probably by the end of this week, we could get some answers and that may be too late to, uh, and, and that or I could already cause a correction in the stock market. All right, so with unemployment benefits under COVID uh, or under coronavirus aid responses, CARES Act, uh, which we call the CARES Act sector expire 31st, there's little time to negotiate, all right, and the, con the, the Senate has to be working over time this week. And this week, uh, investors will be bracing themselves for a raft of economic uh, reports this week. Uh, and we, they need to figure out how the coronavirus current spread will impact the future stock market. All right, so traders are looking for a new stimulus to push the stock market uh, into new highs, especially the NASDAQ. And this new catalyst, all right, needs uh, to, to be in the form of assurance of the stimulus package. So what it really means is that if we have a new stimulus package passed uh, this week, or all by the end of this week, we could get a good catalyst, right, for the stock market to go higher. 
So important results coming out this week, Amazon, Microsoft, and Tesla. And this could be a game changer because these stocks, all right, uh, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, face, uh, uh, Alphabet, and Facebook, they, are, uh, they make uh, like a big concentration of the S&P 500. All right, the last time to, uh, during the dot-com bust, just before it passed, this couple of stocks, all right, there were, there were five stocks, all right, that, that, that meet about 18% of the market caps. And this time round, we have uh, these five stocks making about 20 over percent all right, of the S&P, which means that uh, any bad news, all right, coming from the earnings of Amazon or Microsoft or Tesla, all right, could shake the market a lot, all right. So, so watch for the results of these three stocks that will be due on Thursday, all right, Thursday after markets, all right. So, this results of this. Uh, three stocks are due and they could be the game changer that we are looking for. So Microsoft has been up, all of you know, and you could read it for yourself why Microsoft has taken new high because it is a beneficiary of uh, the COVID-19. Amazon too is another company that has been benefiting from uh, covid 19 all right, that is why it is taking new highs. All right, so today I have two trading ideas, and these are the stocks that uh, will, uh, will not perform well with the resurgence of COVID-19. They are the cruise liner and the Las Vegas Sands. So this is my trade plan for a Norwegian cruise. Norwegian cruise is testing the 15,000 mark again, and I think this week it's going to break. And when it breaks, it's going to uh, my first target at uh, 1390, uh, second target at 1316, and the third target $11. All right. Uh, so if the US economy go into another lockdown, this is probably what we'll see on the downside. And uh, for Las Vegas Sands, the same thing. Okay. We uh, short at uh, 48.60, okay, and those are the target 46.1, 43.65, and 39, and we have a stop loss at 52.7. Okay, and if if this week, all right, um, the new stimulus package is passed, we could probably see gold charging uh, higher again. All right, I've been talking about gold for many, many weeks, and uh, you know, and I've been very bullish on gold, as you have known. Uh, gold has hit all my targets, uh, and the last target at eighteen hundred has surpassed. Uh, next target I'm talking about will be eighteen five one, and after that, all right, gold should be taking or challenging the all-time high at nineteen seventeen. All right, so watch for gold to challenge the nineteen. Uh, 17 all-time high, I think it could happen as soon as, well, within this month, all right? So, so stay bullish on gold. I stay bullish on gold and gold stocks. Okay, and this will be the economic highlight of the week. Jobless claims as usual on, on Wednesday and on Thursday. This is the big week, all right? This is the big day of the earnings of the three big giant tech stocks, okay? So this is what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoy what you have uh, heard and I hope you can benefit and you can make some money out of it. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next week. Bye.